Some pretty damn insane technology from China here, guys. 93 miles of range added to these batteries in a single minute. So in theory, you're looking at 500 miles in about six minutes. In theory, this will happen one day. Not today, but it will definitely happen. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Be great to have you with us as well at the Melbourne EV show on the 27th, 28th, and 29th of June. I'll put a link in the description. China has unveiled the world's first 1400 amp EV battery. The batteries charge at 12C, meaning probably around 1,200 kilowatt charging speeds. They have a range of 450 plus kilometers in five minutes. So you can add 450 plus kilometers in five minutes with the right charges. Now I should point out the chemistry here that's being really um, developed the most in China is not what you'd think. Chinese battery manufacturer SEVB unveiled the world's first 1400 amp ultra fast charging battery that delivers over 93 miles, which is 150 plus kilometers of range in one single minute. The battery is called Star Chaser 2.0, and it was actually unveiled by the company at the 17th Shenzhen International Battery Fair in China. With demonstrations of long-range driving electric vehicle batteries, addressed one of the key concerns among buyers, range anxiety. And people who are impatient, not wanting to wait around to charge. A full battery EV today can to be honest, can deliver about the same range as a full tank as an internal combustion car can. Now, people don't realize internal combustion cars, most of them don't go anywhere near as far as you'd think. So range with a lot of EVs is now on par with internal combustion cars. The only thing that's not on par yet is how fast they can charge. Though that said, I like the saying, people say it only takes as long for your EV to charge for you, as for you to just plug it in. Because more than for most people, more than 99% of their charging, for me in particular, is done at home. I, I can't remember the last time I actually fast charged my EV. It was maybe 11 months ago. Yeah. And I have done some decent journeys. I have done, done some decent journeys. So it's not that I haven't driven very far. But yeah, usually you don't. So, you know, when you're at home, you plug it in and you walk away. You don't do anything. It takes you, I don't know, 10 seconds. But... If you want to charge on a journey, of course, some people need to do this, then this is when these kinds of batteries are going to be game changers. A gas stop for an ice-powered car takes, what, five minutes? Uh, EVs, they take a little bit, more, well, a fair bit longer than this, depending on the electric car. Unveiled at the International Battery Fair in Shenzhen, China, this is the second generation of, of SVEB's Star Chaser batteries, uh, their battery system, I should say. It has a a big advantage over the, the company's batteries that they released in 2022, which were, was 4C, so probably around about 350 kilowatt back then. Over the years, SVEB has massively improved its battery technology. In particular, they now use proprietary Tenqing architecture, I'm sure I didn't pronounce that correctly, which supports high energy density with thermal electric separation. Using a combination of integrated liquid cooling battery disconnect unit, BDU and inserting flexible printed circuits directly into battery packs to save space while increasing safety features, the company has achieved uh, the fastest charging battery in the world. Will these go into cars, EVs? Eventually, I'd say so. The 2.0 kilo amp extreme charging addition is crucial, so you need the right charges, right? However, if you combine this battery with a 1000 volt platform, which is what it's built around, um, then it delivers 1.4 megawatt hour flash charging, which achieves, yeah, this, this charging speed. So actually, it's not 1200 kilowatts, it's actually 1400 kilowatt charging, which is crazy. And you probably think to yourself, well, this is never going to happen. I've made a lot of videos, and I reckon I've gotten at least 5,000 comments, people saying this is not going to happen. And then what happens? It happens. I mean, look, what are we looking at now? BYD with their 1,000 kilowatt charging. And it's real. It's like, it's not fake. This is BYD. So if you think 1,400 kilowatt charging isn't going to happen, well, maybe think again, because 
it's this every year charging speeds are getting faster. And remember, these companies can't stand still. They have to compete against each other. They're going to continue to push and push and push until they have, you know, technology that's just going to be absolutely, absolutely mind-blowing. Star Chaser 2.0 isn't just aiming at fast at a fast charging future, says Interesting Engineering, but it's, well, they want to make sure these batteries first of all go into EVs, and they're saying that the battery packs that you can install using these batteries in an electric car will give you 530 miles of range, 800 kilometers. I'm going to guess that's CLTC range. So you're probably looking at about 400 miles of range with batteries that can charge in five minutes completely pretty much ridiculous right so the batteries are lithium-ion phosphate all of the fast charging batteries we're seeing today are all lithium-ion phosphate when i say fast charging all the batteries capable of 500 plus kilowatt charging speeds in china not all of them but 90 percent of them are lithium-ion phosphate so that's where things are going that's where the um the money the investment is being put into there are issues with batteries, of course, with thermal runaway, risk with fire, and that's probably part of the reason why lithium-ion phosphate batteries are being targeted because they are so much less likely to be involved in a fire. What this battery has is newer approaches to cooling, such as multi-layer sandwich cooling, increasing the cooling area by 50%, and it also has aerospace-grade insulation technology. Additionally, um, these battery Charging rates apparently apply even in extreme cold areas in the world. The company says they've ensured 90% energy retention at minus 20 degrees Celsius and normal operation, normal operation at minus 40 degrees Celsius. That's what you get on the top of Mount Everest when there's a storm. So that's crazy. Anyway, these batteries are just an example of the many different battery, amazing batteries we're seeing coming out of mostly out of China, to be honest. There's been a couple out of the US, but mostly China. The US is working more on solid state batteries and they're doing a good job of it. I think they're actually, that's what they should be focusing on because that's where the race is still on. Of course, with the, when it comes to the mainstream batteries, China is just ahead of everyone else in the world. That's a fact. But when it comes to solid state batteries, the race is still on. So it's going to be a, a completely different ball game. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. Guys, a bunch of new stories put together here for you. Some of the latest stuff about Tesla, what's happening, what's going on with all these new car models and every, all these different, there's so many articles going on everywhere. I've tried to compile them, kind of make sense of it all for you. The biggest thing here, in my opinion, is the Model Y, the E80. It's going to come with a smaller battery. We know the pretty much exact changes coming to the new cheaper Model Y, what the differences will be. It's going to be a lot cheaper than the existing Model Y which will probably enable a fair few more people to get into one of these cars, get into a, good, a decent, well, not decent, but a pretty good electric car. So if you want to see the Model Y E80, the details of this new Tesla, you can really fast forward to around the five minute mark of the video. But for all the Tesla news going on, stay tuned and it's all here. A few interesting pieces of news here I'm going to put together for you guys. Tesla's plans, now we already know I have a separate video here on the new Model 2 that's been spotted actually two different versions of that car, two different prototypes.